Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to type into the Windows 10 search bar. So if you're having a problem clicking in here and there's no results coming up or it just is continuously loading without any progress. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving that. And we're going to go jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is tap the Windows and R key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, Windows and R. So it's just two keys to tap them in combination with each other. And then I'm going to have a path in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it in and paste it into this open field here, as you see on my screen. Then notice the C is where Windows is installed on. If you have a different drive loader, so it might be a D or an E drive where Windows is installed on, you might want to change that C to a different letter. And then go ahead and select OK. I know Windows is on my C drive, as is for most people, but just want to have it on there. And then once you've done that, now you want to tap the Windows R key again. Type in PowerShell and then hit OK. And now we're going to paste in a PowerShell command that starts with get minus sign app x package. You want to copy that from my description. Go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. And give it a moment here, this is going to be re-registering the modern apps on our computer.
Okay, don't worry if you have a little bit of red here. Um, it just means a couple of them weren't able to run, but once you have a blinking cursor, that means that the overall it's all finished here. So we're going to close out of here. We to just restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Once that's done, we're going to run a couple more commands. So once you've restarted your computer, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time and we're going to run them. So the first one's a DISM command. So just copy that from my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then paste that in. Hit enter. We'll take a couple minutes to run here, so just please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, there's going to be one more command we're going to run. I'm not going to make you guys wait through the whole process, but I just wanted to make sure we could finish the first one successfully. And then you're going to paste in the next one, the SFC scan now command. And this probably will take about the same amount of time as the other one did. So once it's finished, restart your system, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.